This tutorial will demonstrate how to use the Google Advanced Search box. To the right of the main Google page, you'll see a link for Advanced Search. Using the Advanced Search options will help you limit the research that you return, thereby making your search more effective. The first three boxes, or options at the top of the Advanced Search page, are much like using Boolean search terms and an OR. They help to limit the search results that you return. Let's pretend that we are doing a research paper on India's untouchables. Right now, with these two words plugged into the top box, this is much like a general Google search. And Google will go out and search for articles, web pages, groups, videos that have both India and Untouchables in them. Let's say also that I'm looking for information in articles that have research about the caste system. I might put those two words here in the second box rather than in the top box because if I stick them here, what will happen is that Google will go through and search for pages that contain the words cast and system. I want Google to look for these two words together, cast system. So I'm going to ask that it looks for the exact wording or phrase. This is much like putting quotations around search terms in the general search box. I can also expand my search by using the or perimeters here. In this case, I'm trying to limit my search, so I'm not going to put in any search terms for the OR. I might also use this box for any of unwanted words or search results. So for example, if I hit search right now, I know that there are a number of songs with the lyrics untouchables in them. I don't want lyrics coming back in my search results, so in this box, I might type in the word lyrics and it will tell Google to eliminate any search results that have lyrics in them. I can also use the advanced search to limit how many results come up per page, what language, and what format. This is especially helpful for teachers. I know that I've used this particular limiter on the advanced search page to look for resources to use in the classroom. So for example, if I was teaching a lesson on India's untouchables in the CAS system, I might look for a PowerPoint that someone has posted to the web to see if I might be able to use and adapt it for the classroom. In this case, since I'm looking for research, I'm going to leave it as any format. You can also limit what site you're searching information for. So instead of searching the entire web, let's say I wanted to see if National Geographic had any articles on India's untouchable system. All I would need to do is plug in the web address for National Geographic, which happens to be nationalgeographic.com. If I stop here and hit advanced search, I should, if National Geographic has published anything on India's untouchables, be able to find that article very quickly. And look, National Geographic on the news portion of their site has an article on India's untouchables. So it, this was a very fast way to find that article and to find the information quickly. You don't always know what website to search. Sometimes you are just looking for more general information. So you're not always going to use this search within a site or domain. These are not the only options within the advanced search. You'll notice that you have additional options by clicking this plus, which allows you to look for specific date ranges for information. Um, you can filter it by license. So this means if you're looking for um, copyrighted information or information that's royalty free or free to use, this is great for like image searches. Um, you can click on usage rights. You can look for regions. So there are a number of different tools um, if you're looking for specific types of files to also use. Now you'll notice I've taken off the search within a different site and let's see what comes up. So if we search India's Untouchables and the CAS system, um, you'll notice that I have still about 4,870,000 articles. That's quite a bit. So another way to limit the way that you search is to use the show options tab here at the top. 
This will give you another set of limiters to use when you're looking for research. You'll notice along the side now, I can choose whether I look within image sources, videos, news, blogs, updates, looks for social media. So if there happen to be any feeds about India's untouchables or caste system within Twitter, then that would show up, which at this time there is not. I can look within books. I can look within discussion forums. I want to limit my search to news articles. So by clicking news, it'll now search sites like the BBC and any upcoming news. And you'll notice there's still quite a bit. However, I've just gone from 4.8 million searches to 86. So that's limited it to something much more um, manageable. I can also limit when these news articles were posted. So if I'm looking for something very current about India's untouchables, I can even look within the past 24 hours. You'll notice, look, from Business Standard and from Republica, I've got a couple of articles that come up. Using the Google Advanced Search option, you can use your tools to better research um, topics and information and find more relevant research more quickly.